September the 25th, 2024. As you're looking at satellite images over the Gulf of Mexico this morning, and a very strong storm. Now it has sustained winds of 70. Once it gets to 74, you got a Cat 1. And we're going to look at a few of the uh, different models and things like that. But now as it's coming ashore, guys, it's increased in speed from yesterday. We were at a Cat 3 with strong Cat 4 winds. We'll take a look at that. But here's the CMC model right there on the left side. That's bringing it further to the west into Florida. If that line holds up, Panama City, you guys in that area are going to have a lot of wind and water. Again, the Navy model is just a no-show on probably the strongest storm of the year. Thank you, Kamala. Now, here we've got the maximum sustained wind, 70 miles per hour, moving northwest at 9. Here's a storm just barely touching the Yucatan. But notice very quickly it's going to become a hurricane. The X is the current location. And again, this was at 7 a.m. Central Time, so it's 26 minutes old. Notice it's still a hurricane, guys, by the time it gets into South Central Georgia right there. We're, we're going to watch it tomorrow really heavily. Still, you got 10 to 15 foot uh, storm surge forecast right here in the Big Bend. And again, if this moves just a little further to the left, Mexico Beach, a lot of people that took it from Michael are going to get hit here. But uh, again, one to three foot all along the east coast now, down through Florida and Georgia. Now, the rainfalls and the chance of flash flooding is at, at its highest in the pink. This is up to Chattanooga, up towards Nashville. And then all of this area here where it's coming in, you've got a moderate or 40% chance of flash flooding, and it goes down to a 15 and a 5 into the green. National Weather Service hurricane warnings are up. Uh, you've got flash flood warnings, hurricane warnings, you've got tropical storm watches, name it, you have it all right there in this map. Now, you've uh, excessive heat warnings here in Arizona and Southern California. You guys stay hydrated, stay in the shade as much as you can. But Florida, we're about to have a major storm come in. Now, looking at the speeds again from the National Hurricane Center, we can tell that from the printout, guys, that this thing is going to pick up more speed than expected. Again, 70 miles per hour right now. And just within an hour or so, it will be a Cat 1. And we're going to take a look at some of these wind speeds. Yesterday, we looked at these two before it came inland. Notice that. 90 knots to 110 knots. But look right here. This is what's increased right before it comes ashore. We're dealing with 105 knots. To 130 knots. So 105 guys were dealing with 120 mile an hour sustained winds with our gust at just under 150 miles, 149.6 at, at that. So, guys, it, if it strengthens anymore, you're going to have a cat four with cat five gust. Again, 105 is 121. They don't even show 130 here, but I wrote it down and it's 149.61 at 120 knots. Think about that, or excuse me, at 130 knots. So the thing has picked up 10 knots forward speed. Now they're starting to feel some of the impact. This is down in the uh, southern part of the Keys, southernmost point in the continental U.S., 90 miles to Cuba is what it says. Starting to see it pick up slowly. It still has not entered into the Gulf proper yet, and you're not, you should not see a whole lot except maybe the one to three foot storm surges in this area because it's going to be moving off to your right and up. But now we, I can't say that for sure. We're going to be watching this webcam and some of the others throughout the day. Right now we have a stronger storm than when we went to sleep. So it's strengthening. We see it. Take all pre uh, preparations or take all precautions. And if you're in that nine, or excuse me, 10 to 15 foot storm surge area, you want to move out. Guys, there are going to be a lot of updates. Just keep your eyes open. We're watching it. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.